Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Pseudomon type. Last time we reached Goldenrod City, obtained Igglybuff, Snubble, and a Shiny Ditto. And, oh, it's up here. Then I evolved Snubble into Gramble, Curly into Garlobar, and then finally Igglybuff into Jigglypuff. This time, I'm taking on Whitney for my third badge, and should make my way up to Eckerd Peak City. So first we'll just take on the various gym trainers, might as well. I should be able to sweep Whitney with Gardevoir anyway. Okay. One down. There's another one over here. Also, yes, her sprite is bugged. It's just how it is. Alright, now we're just going to save real quick. Oh, you start with Miltank. Right. I thought you started with Clefairy. I was probably thinking Hargold's a little silver. Alright, well, this should be easy. Cow's down. That was fast. Hmm. Sore loser. And you have to walk away. And we get the plane badge and the team for a track. So, with that, we'll head back to Pokemon Center real quick and keep. Alright, oh, something I forgot to do last time. We need to get the radio card expansion. Yes, there are. Well, at least in theory there are. It doesn't actually affect this, this hack, I think. Can't buy a bike of the mart, that's correct. No, it doesn't. No, he doesn't. Yes, there are. For example, you can't get Torchic. Or any bits of all forms. At all. Because this hack was unfinished. And, uh, if you're wondering, no, Buena isn't up here, so you can't talk to her and get... Your radio doesn't really work that well anyway, so whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, now we have to head up north. I swear it rings more in Johto than it does in the fucking UK. Now we talk to this chick. You know, it's raining right now. In theory, that would get the Pseudowoto to move, but no. It's gotta be special water from the special squirt bottle. Yeah. Yeah, sure, whatever game. Okay, now... Yeah, so after we beat... Well, I think we have to talk to the little sister again after entering this house for her to acknowledge it. It's stupid. Again, this hack is janky as fuck. Okay, so after we saved... We used Squirt Bottle. And if I recall correctly... You can actually catch up with Sue Widow in this hack, but this is the earliest you can get one by far. Alright, let's try and weaken it a little. Alright, now we just spam Pokeballs. There we go!
And I'm gonna call ya Petra. As in, you know, petrified wood. That's what it is. And now we drop the squirt bottle for just reasons. Now we talk to this guy, and we get Rock Smash. Now we're actually going to switch over to We Are Here. And oh, we have a scripted event. Yeah, and by the way, he will not let you pass until you go take care of him. This dev really took the cues from later generations and added a bunch of stuff I don't like. For example, all these scripted roadblocks. Oh, and this guy, on Thursday, gives you a hard stone, boosts your rock type attacks. Is it Thursday? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So first, we're just going to heal up real quick. And then I will see y'all back in New Bark Town. Alright, we're back. And he's got here, and pro tip regarding Team Saturn, they mostly use electric types. So, I don't think I have anything with ground type attacks. Also, yeah, Guiar is not going to have any boost for now. Actually, I should teach a headbutt, now that I think about it. Nope, not that one. Oh wait, alright. Never mind, I forgot. I don't have it right now. Whatever. Here. Alright, Elaine, you're up again. And yeah, they use the Team Magma music. Or Team Magma, or, well, Team Magma counter, and then the battles. Team Magma, Team Aqua Grunt. And they all have neckbeards. I mean, on top of the shitty uniforms... Yeah. I'm not very impressed with Team Saturn. But if you think this guy looks stupid, wait till you see his boss. Not the big boss, but, you know, the middle management. Alright, knock it out. Now we talk to this asshole. Hmm. You know, pretty generic villains. Yeah, this guy! Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I should- I should use Ice Punch. Oh. Took you long enough, Slowpoke. You told me to, you fucking idiot! Ah, I hate this guy. Okay, I think that's a reference to another ROM hack the same guy made or something. Alright. Now we'll just heal up again, and we'll get out of here. Alright, so now we're back here. This constant rain really annoys me. If there was anything I could add to this hack, it would be 
well, one, I would reduce the odds of just random ass weather like this. But I would also add some way to change the weather. Like, turn the various weather affecting moves into uh, field moves. You know, like, use rain dance to make it rain, sunny day to make it sunny. Things like that. But no, you can't do that. Yeah, fuck it. You have no idea how often it was while I was playing this earlier. I would just constantly run back forth between routes just to get the weather to fucking change. Because I think rain... I swear, rain has to be the most common form of weather this game will generate. And I'm not sure why. Alright. It's them down. Alright. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you did. Oh, I just remembered something. I should probably go and pick up this ball first. I know, a bit of a random detour. That just lets us catch Pokemon that we've already caught before with a higher degree of success. Useful if I catch, say, sh want to catch, say, Shiny. Okay, and we come back in about a day and we get ourselves a Netball. Oh, it really is just one at a time, just like in the original game. Not like a crystal where you could do it in batches. You know, sometimes I wonder, is this trying to be a remake of Gold version or Crystal? Because sometimes it's hard to tell. Alright, now that detour is done with, let's get moving up to Echo Peak City. But first things first, check out the Pokemon Center. There's Bill! Yeah, you can have a free uh, move tutor to learn moves you've forgotten. Also, if you go back to his house and talk to him, you can get an Eevee. Now, if this hack added Sylveon, you bet your ass I'll be doing that right now. Unfortunately, it doesn't, so... Can't do that. We'll actually be getting our next member of the team before too long. But first, we're going to need our next gym badge. And that, there's one move that Gardevoir can... Oh, never mind. Hmm. I have to say, what? Wouldn't Gardevoir learn Magical Leaf via the Move Relearner? Huh. Whatever. Wait, only Curlia can relearn? Can learn it? You know what? Give me a second. Yeah, I seriously went back, reverted to an earlier save, and just redid everything so I would be able to get Magical Leaf. So. Yeah. Basically, in the alternate timeline, Garbor didn't evolve until after I, uh, got my badge and got to Equity City. But, eh. It, it is what it is. Whatever. You get the point. Now, I should clarify that I did that with save states. Not, you know, the hard save. Because, as you know, I did save before fighting, um, the gym leader. Whitney. So, first things first, let's take on the Kimono Girls. Because we need to get ourselves served. She's literally just using the Gen 2 sprite. Okay. Yeah, I am. Glad you noticed. No, nah, you, you really didn't. Okay. Yeah, because you're doing a solo run and I'm doing a pseudo mod type. Sucks to be you. Thunder Punch. Oh, come on. Yeah, they love the spam sand attack. But I only need to get lucky once. Alright. So, uh. Jolteon's the last one. Yeah. 
Well, that was easy. Let's see. Eh, I think I have time to do the burnt tower as well. Let's go and do that. But first, talk to this guy. And we get Earth. And I wonder, why did I even bother getting Magical Leaf? Because you're like, oh, it's not that great of a move. Well, one, it's guaranteed to hit. Two, it's type coverage. And uh, also, it is totally arbitrary bullshit that only Curlia learns it via the move tutor. That doesn't make any sense. Why Curlia? Only. Stupid. I think later generations actually change that. But, no matter. Also has the uh, Miracle Seed, so it's actually going to do a little more damage. I believe you're actually supposed to have a cutscene with those guys, but it doesn't always trigger properly. Ultra Ball. And it out. Go away. I said go away! Really? Yeah, because Kojitik is really, really slow. Oh, there's Zane. Don't worry, he's not here to battle this time. But he does give you a magnet, which boosts your Electro-type attacks. I'm probably going to give that to Clefable. Because, I mean, yeah, I did try to set up Clefable as a physical, as a special attacker, but it's adamant in nature, so it's probably going to be a mixed attacker, to be honest. And there's Silver. Let's save real quick. Uh, sure. Where is safe, kiddo? Alright. Good, got the stat boost. Oh, fuck off! Don't you dare! Yeah, that's what I thought, smartass. Spite would have made it impossible for me to attack it anymore. Well, actually, no, I think I used PowerPoint ups on Ancient Power. But, yeah, it would have really sucked. If it had only the base amount of Power Points, then yeah, I would be unable to attack. Let's use Ancient Power. Do as much damage as we can. A lot of good that did, yeah. You got swept by a Togetic, son. <laughs> oh, I, I'm the wimp. I'm the wimp. That's cute. <laughs> oh, I miss when rivals were more antagonistic like this. It just made it so much more fun to beat them up. Because honestly, with the friendly rivals in later games, I just feel like a bully. And there's the cutscene. And by the way, you can't actually track the roamers. Um, even if you encounter them, you won't be able to... Because of course, the pack is never finished, the Pokedex is a little buggy, it won't show up on the map at all. But, unlike Vanilla, Fire Red, and Leaf Green, the bug that makes them disappear after they run away or use Roar once has actually been fixed. So that's nice. 
It's still fucking raining. Anyways, uh, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page. I will catch you all next time.